Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be continuing on the topic Align Grids in AG Grid. In the previous video, we saw what Align Grid is, when it will come handy, what its use, and also I had a demo on how to achieve this in an Angular application using AG Grid. So this is an application that we developed. So here we can see there are two data tables, one below the other. And these two data tables are aligned to each other. That means if we hold, uh, scroll horizontally, then that scrolling will be in sync for both the data tables. Similarly, if we increase or decrease the width of a particular column, then that will get reflected in both the data tables. Okay. But if you see the vertical scroll, when we scroll vertically from one data table, then the vertical scroll is not happening or they are not in sync. So if I scroll to down from data table one, then the scrolling is not happening in data table 2 or the below bottom grid. So there may be scenario say example if we have flat grid then it would be good for the user to have both vertical and horizontal swing uh, horizontal scroll sync or synchronization so that we can compare column wise and row wise. So that horizontal and vertical scroll sync synchronization is sometimes important in many of the business use case scenario. So to achieve that, the align grid which we have by default in AG grid doesn't support. So here, if you see the documentation, it will support horizontal scroll column hiding, moving a column, resizing column, pinned columns. So these will be in sync for both the data tables. But vertical scroll, that synchronization is not part of the aligned grids configuration that we set. To achieve that, it's not like we can't achieve. We can achieve that vertical scroll sync by adding few JavaScript code. Let's see how we can achieve the vertical scroll also in sync between the two data tables. So for that, we need to have some JavaScript code, which is very simple to understand. And I will show you how to achieve that. This vertical scroll is not a good approach to have if there is row grouping because when we expand a particular group then the scroll position or if we scroll from the data table one then it may not it may be annoying for the user to have the same scroll position at below because since it's not expanded in the below data table so it might be very useful it is useful only for flat data tables where there is no row grouping. So in the project that I showed demo, it's a row group data tables. Both are having row groups. So first, we will remove this row grouping. Now you can see it's a flat grid where we don't have any row grouping. So in this type of data tables, it's good to have the synchronization of both horizontal and vertical scroll so that we can compare the data row wise in from both the tables. So to achieve that, firstly, we need to create 
get the elements using the id tag so that will be getting in the ng after view unit lifecycle hook so firstly we need to implement after view in it interface so we need to implement the method ng after view in it okay after that what we are doing we are creating two constant variable and we are getting the element with id top grid and bottom grid so if you see in the html for the first data table i have given id of top grid and for the second data table i have given the id bottom grid so we are getting the these two data table elements in the ts file in a variable called grid1 and grid2 so i will open this in a new tab and now we can inspect using the developer tools okay so i am taking this particular data table okay so this is the data table now i am going to inspect this vertical scroll so here it comes under this ag body viewport there is a class called ag beauty body viewport so we will get this particular element now using the query selector so these all are basic javascript which i am going to implement for that i will copy another snippet and paste it here so before that there is one more there is a body scroll event for that the ag grid exposes so here we don't have a view child firstly we will create a view child for the two grids so I am creating the view child at the top of our component class. I'm formatting this. So now we have a view child. So for one for the top grid and other for the bottom grid. Now coming to the ng after view unit. So there is a body scroll event to which we will be subscribing and we will be subscribing to the change events to this body scroll. So to see what is happening there, what we will get in the events callback, we will check. So I am consoling it. Similarly, we will have this for the bottom grid as well. So the AG grid is, what I am doing here is, there is a body scroll event which is exposed by AG grid. And we are subscribing to the body scroll event. So whenever there is a scrolling happening, we will get that event this event gets triggered and we will get an event that event we are consoling it here okay so this subscription is done for both top grid and bottom grid let's see in the console so i am opening the console so if i scroll horizontally you can see i am consoling the event that we are subscribing to so here in the event we can see there is a type called body scroll direction of scroll so since i have scrolled horizontally horizontally the value is direction horizontal also we have the api and column api properties which we'll look into in detail in the next chapter so similarly if we scroll vertically then we have the vertical scroll event body scroll and the direction will be vertical and you can see top we have mode 11386 so the position from top is 
this and from left it's seven if i scroll left then you can see left becomes zero top remains the same eleven three eight six so this event the easy grid is exposing to us and we are using this event to synchronize the vertical scroll as well so let's jump into the demo once again since we are getting we are able to subscribe to the change when we scroll a particular scroll in a data table either vertically or horizontally we will make use of this event so now in the ng after we edit so we will check if the direction is vertical okay so we are checking it if it is vertical if it is vertical then we are consoling the event so let's check so now i am moving this there is no sorry the application is loading once again okay now it's loaded so if we horizontally scroll now you can see there is no event getting consoled because we have given an if condition where direction is equal to equal to vertical then only console it so as soon as i scroll vertically we can see a console log consoling the event the body scroll event okay now what is the thing that we need we need this vertical call vertical scroll synchronization in both the data tables i will expand once again scroll once again so here if you see there are a lot of properties which we can look into okay but the one which we are interested in is the scroll top event so which will be in the grid panel in the so now what we are interested is in synchronizing the vertical scroll for that we have the viewport okay so this is the viewport now we will get this particular element using the query selector so we'll jump into the code okay so here i'm copying this snippet and pasting it instead of the console.log similarly for the bottom grid as well now going to code so we are getting this element dot ag body ag body viewport we are getting this class okay so within grid 1 and grid grid 2 okay between the top grid and bottom grid there is a ag body viewport so we are getting in this a constant variable called grid body 1 and grid body 2 this contains a scroll top property okay so what we are doing whatever is the value for scroll top in grid 1 we are assigning to the grid 2 and whatever in the below bottom grid so we will get grid 2 scroll top whatever the value is we are assigning to the grid 1 scroll top by doing so we achieve the vertical scroll synchronization so if you see now we have horizontal scroll synchronized which was already there as part of the align grid that age grid provides but now if you see we also have the vertical scroll synchronization as well for that we have a small snippet of code using simple javascript to achieve the functionality so if you see 
we can compare the data vertically and horizontally between both the data tables. Hope this would be very beneficial in many of the business use case scenario where we need to compare the data between two tables. Align Grids provides only the horizontal scroll synchronization and by using this small snippet of code we have achieved the vertical scroll synchronization as well. Hope the video is beneficial for you and this might help you in some way or the other not in case of AG grid or in normal HTML table as well. This is just plain JavaScript code which I have wrote to achieve the functionality. Hope everyone likes the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Have a nice day.